Hello and welcome back with another video of Trekker Prize. Well, today I'm going to talk about Discovery and more specifically why I still have faith in this new series. Well, as you probably already know, Star Trek Discovery being delayed from May 2017 to an indefinite date. We already know the studio will start filming in uh, next week, uh, technically the first season, first episodes. And they just announced recently James Farin, who will play uh, Ambassador Sarek. And while at the beginning I thought um, he won't play any significant role in the series, technically he will be a recurring character in the series, so he will be as regular as the um, other ones, like the Doug Jones character and um, Anthony Rapp characters and you know, all, all the others. Things aren't going so well at the moment because... Uh, so we have quite a lot of negative um, news, negative critics about the series already. I mean, a lot of fans used to uh, hate the ship, which actually grow on me, so if they're gonna leave that as it is, in a more realistic look, I will be just happy with it, as, as I was happy with the other ones. I have no issue with the cast, they are all fantastic people, they all played in different roles, in different series, so they will be just good. In the case of Ambassador Sarek, it will be a bit different because you know all the other characters are are new, will be new for the Star Trek series. But Sarek is a, an established uh, character. The actor who will play uh, Sarek, James Farin, he will play, have to play it in a really good way because we already have this character in the original timeline. We already know how he is act, how he does certain things. So we have to get the same experience, and that will be a bit hard for him. Regarding the delay. Um, I wasn't really happy at the beginning, like why do they delay it? And at the beginning I thought, okay, th that's not gonna be good. But if we give time to the members of the creative group uh, and for the storytelling and the actors to actually, um, you know, give themselves 110% to the project, we will get something great. And I'm really looking for the moment when I actually can sit down, watch the first episode of Discovery and I will say, say at the end, okay, this is a Star Trek what I love. <laughs> And I hope I'm gonna say this. Star Trek is a really big part of my life. It, I grew up with it, and honestly, it means a lot to me. Um, so having shared it with all of you guys, uh, it's just tremendous um, for me. It's it really is. Why I'm still hopeful for Discovery because I know it will be something something what we didn't see before. Obviously. <clears throat> No, lots of negative news and, and you know, there be some rumors like CBS want to uh, copy XNR, which I looked into it, it's a brilliant project and I just don't understand why they actually uh, stopped, cancelled the not even finished project at the beginning. That story has so much, so much potential and I really hope they're not gonna copy or get the idea from XNR and putting it to Discovery. I hope they're gonna do something something new, something different, something what they actually been talking about a long time ago. So I'm still hopeful for the project. All the negativity, all the negative information what we got through um, through the media, through you know a lot of comments what I was reading in different websites and everyone just like okay if even if it will finish they will finish the project one day I'm not gonna watch it someone said that or you know discovery it for me doesn't exist anymore it's still Star Trek it's like denying into darkness never happened well we all wish it never happened but it did so we have to get along with it I guess it's not gonna be my favorite movie but it is there so it's part of the franchise it's like a lot of you don't really like Enterprise um, for continuity reasons and why they go back in time to 100 years. Totally fine. You don't have to like everything what you what you see on TV or even if it's pledged with Star Trek. I'm a sort of a guy who actually likes everything, so you can pledge me. I like you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You always, you always, you get discharged. So yeah, that was it for today guys, thank you very much for watching, as always, um, feel free to check out my Instagram, my Twitter and my um, website as well, that's trekkerprize.com, where I publish articles um, usually every week, um, I try to be more regular, like once or twice a week, so thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video, live long and prosper. I wouldn't mind actually if they you know, smash uh, <laughs> hardcore front to mud, but... It's still a kid show and you know God I, I just I just I just hate that guy.